Hi everyone! In this video, we're going to be walking through the process for converting an Excel spreadsheet to PDF in Power Automate. This will also work the same way if you prefer using Azure Logic Apps. In this tutorial, we'll be using the Cloudmersive Document Conversion Connector, but our first step is to start our manual flow. To do this, we will go to the Create tab within Power Automate and choose the Instant Flow option. With this option, you can trigger the function manually as needed. We then need to click on the Manually Trigger a Flow option and press Create. Once you've reached the Flow page, we can start putting together our function. By clicking New Step, we can input our source file. You can choose from whichever file source you prefer. I'm going to be using OneDrive for this. Once you've chosen your file input action, you can retrieve the source file. As you can see, my chosen file is just a plain Excel file that contains multiple worksheets. After this, we'll add another step. This time, though, we'll be using a Cloudmersive document conversion connector. As a tip, this is the connector with the green Cloudmersive logo. Once you choose the correct connector, you will be shown a list of possible document conversion actions. For this flow, we'll pick the Convert Excel XLSX Spreadsheet to PDF option. We want to specify which version of Excel we are using to make sure the connector can accept your file type. If you want to convert an older Excel file, you'll want to use our XLS conversion action instead. If you've never used a Cloudmersive connector before, you'll be prompted to input your API key. You can get your key for free on the Cloudmersive website, and once you've input it here, you won't be asked for it again. Now you can add your file content as the input file and name it whatever you'd like. I am naming mine testinput.xlsx. Now we will add our final connector. This will be the create file option for your preferred file drive. For your folder path, we will input whatever folder you want your file to be stored in. Like before, you can name this file whatever you want and add .pdf to the end. Now place your output content from the previous step in the file content box. Now that we've finished all of the input steps, we can run our flow. To do this, we'll click on the test in the upper right corner. Choose the option for performing the trigger action manually and press test. Then we can click run flow, which will trigger the flow for us. Here, you'll be informed if the flow was successful or not. And after clicking done, you'll see green check marks next to all of the connectors showing that the flow worked. Now you can check your chosen folder for your newly converted PDF document. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to check back in for more tutorials and tips on using Cloudmersive connectors and Power Automate.